people are like, who, who's this laugh after that? I'm like, I don't know either. Y'all really make comedians feel like family, and y'all make us feel like we, we're important. I've always dreamed of these opportunities. I'm actually so excited to be in Vegas right now. I love Vegas. There's a lot of excitement. All the other comics were really cool. There's a dope energy here, man, and the band is a part of it. I want to be there. I want to be there on that stage. Who do I got to talk to? For one, I'm in Vegas. Two, this crowd. Three, the stage is amazing. I feel like I should apologize to you guys. Uh, I didn't necessarily do anything, but I am a straight white male, and I kind of feel like everything's been our fault for the last few years, so, you know. <laughs> as soon as you walk in and you see the big Laugh After Dark banner and the band's playing, I don't know, man. It just puts you in a good mood. I'm the only kid at 16 years old who had to sit my parents down and go into the closet to them. It's just like in this day and age, like I just, I don't understand what is the argument for pads? Like you're just like, mm, I want to sit in it. You get the laughter like that, you, like little prickles all over your skin. You want to just rip your shirt open like Michael Jackson. Ah. I'm trying to get in no fight. I got extensions in my hair. Like, is that Joe's Afro kinky 1B? Is that... This is uh, really big for me and uh, I think it's, it's going to take me to the next level. For me, this is like a huge night, so I'm treating it like it's the Super Bowl, you know? I'm feeling real good inside. Something is jittering inside, so I'm happy. I can't wait. It's been a long time coming, y'all, but we're finally here. Welcome to Laugh After Dark, live in Las Vegas. Let's go. Yeah.